Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add a subdomain to your web hosting account. And today we're going to be using Bluehost.com. So go ahead and open up a browser and go to Bluehost.com. Okay. Uh, once you're at Bluehost.com, you want to go ahead and go up to the header section and click on the control panel login. And it looks as if I'm already logged into my site from working on it earlier. So I'm going to log out real quick just to show you the full process of it. So we're going to go ahead and click back on to the control panel login up in the header section. And over here in the account login box, you want to fill out your domain name or URL, which mine is noseriddesign.com. And down here, you want to fill out the password that you'd already provided your hosting account when you set up the account. And once you've done that, go ahead and click login. Okay, now once that you have logged in and you are getting this screen here, there is a bunch of information that you have that comes with your hosting account. Right here in the stats window is your main domain name and your username, which if you notice we've used that earlier. Uh, if you want, you can go ahead and write that down just in case you want to keep track of that. But for now, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says domains. This is where we're going to work at today. So what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be adding a subdomain to our main domain name. So go over to this little icon and click on subdomains. Now once that's loaded up for you, um, as you can see up here, uh, it gives you a brief exam or a brief explanation of what a subdomain is used for. Um, today, we're going to be creating a subdomain named Tutorial Three. So, under the Create a Subdomain in the Subdomain box, I'm going to go ahead and put in Tutorial Three. Now, with you guys working with me at home, you'll be wanting not to put tutorial three. You'll be wanting to put in whatever you want to call your subdomain, possibly your name, possibly a project you're working on, or anything that is similar to the website that you're trying to work with. So, under here in the document root, um, the subdomain is going to be going into the public HTML folder. So, once you hit create, you'll notice that uh, the tutorial three now moves to past the forward slash under the public underscore HTML. Under that, oh, I'll get back to that, but um, they just created it. So I'm going to go back just to show you what I was going to say. And once you've gone back and you've gotten that successful notification, you'll see down here I have some subdomains that I've already previously set up. One is Brian, one is eLearning, one is Tutorial 2, and the one we just set up is Tutorial 3. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to make this window a little bit smaller, but I'm going to still keep it open just enough so you can see the Tutorial 3 down here. Now go ahead and open up your browser. or in this case, add a new tab. I'm gonna pull that out just to give you some more viewing areas. And we're gonna go ahead and type in, or I'm gonna go ahead and type in tutorial3.noseriddesign.com just to make sure that this subdomain has been set up properly. So go ahead and type in whatever your subdomain you name, dot your URL, dot com. Once you've done that, go ahead and click Enter. 
And as you'll see, uh, we are now set up with a new subdomain. It goes to the default Bluehost page. Since I have nothing set up or nothing uploaded to the subdomain, um, that's basically it. You're up and running with a new subdomain. After that, all you'll have to do is go in and do some FTPing and set up the structure of your new website. And if you have any questions on that, you can view my tutorial on how to upload files using uh, FileZilla, or you can use look at my other tutorial on how to FTP using Dreamweaver with CS5. Thanks a lot.